Hydraulic systems enable force to be transmitted by the use of fluids. Force applied at one point is transmitted to another point through the fluid. A principle which is part of Pascal's law. A change in pressure at any point in an enclosed fluid at rest is transmitted undiminished to all points in the fluid. OK, but what does that actually mean? In this lesson, we'll express it like this and look at each part of the statement in detail to make it easy to understand. Pressure. This is force per unit of area often measured in pascals and looks like this. Here the force is applied to a certain area but if we increase the area it spreads out the force so that the pressure decreases. If the pressure is confined it is transmitted in all directions and acts upon every part of the confining vessel at right angles to its interior surfaces because pressure always acts at right angles to the surface it is applied to. Fluid can be any fluid, even water, but is almost always an oil of some sort. And the pressure in that fluid is transmitted undiminished which means there is no noticeable reduction in pressure due to the incompressibility of liquids. And finally, the pressure acts equally upon all equal areas. OK, let's think about this. If the pressure is transmitted equally upon equal areas, what if the areas are not equal? To understand the answer to this question, we will look at the Brahma press. A simple hydraulic system with two pistons which do not have equal areas. This is the idea behind any simple hydraulic system and is used to multiply force. So let's now see how it works. According to Pascal's law, force exerted on the smaller piston transmits pressure through the fluid to act on the internal surface of the larger piston. Here, the larger piston has twice the area of the smaller piston. It's important to remember, pressure is a property of the system, not the pistons, and is therefore experienced equally by each piston. Even though the pressure is the same, because the other piston has a larger surface area, the upward force it experiences will be different. In this case, because the larger piston is twice the area of the smaller piston, then the force experienced will be twice as great. However, in order to create that extra force, the smaller piston has to be moved by twice the distance. In this system, the larger piston is 10 times the area of the smaller piston. Therefore, the force applied to the smaller piston is multiplied by 10. However, in order to create that extra force, the smaller piston has to be moved by 10 times the distance. So, let's now test your understanding using a working model. As you can see, in this model, the larger piston on the right has twice the surface area of the smaller piston on the left. Let's imagine we need to extend the larger piston to the top of its stroke. 
that means we need to move it by one, two, three, four, five divisions on the scale. Therefore, how far does the smaller piston need to move? Let's see. The smaller piston has moved by 10 divisions, twice as far as the larger piston. Were you correct? OK, so let's look at how hydraulic principles can be put into use. The example we will use is a typical, simple hydraulic braking system, like that used in the car or the wheel brakes on a small aircraft. In this system, the two slave pistons have a much larger area than the master piston. Therefore, any force applied to the master cylinder will be multiplied as the fluid exerts the resultant pressure on a greater surface area. So let's use another working model and see what happens. As force is applied to the master piston, the slave pistons extend and exert a multiplied force onto the disc to slow down the wheel. Eventually, the wheel stops. And that concludes this lesson on basic hydraulic principles. Remember, hydraulic systems enable force to be transmitted by the use of fluids. Hydraulics follow the principles of Pascal's law. In a simple hydraulic system with one piston larger than the other, force applied at the smaller piston will be multiplied at the larger piston. However, in order to create the extra force, the smaller piston has to be moved a greater distance. If you're an instructor and would like to deliver a lesson like this in your classroom, an instructor pack is available with all the interactive working models we saw earlier. This includes Pascal's Law, Simple Hydraulic Systems, hydraulic brakes and other components like a non-return valve and a really useful hydraulic pump. Change the speed, view the operation from the top or simplify to a single cylinder to make it easy to explain the operation. For more information, see the details on screen.